Hey, this is an overview of the 4.17 release of Dawn's Mesh Painting solution. Saving and loading painted effects is now supported out of the box. So let's take a look at that straight away. So I'm going to come over here, paint some effects. I'm going to press the F7 key to save. You can see there's this new Q here on the HUD. F7 to save, F9 to load. Now I'm going to close the application and start over again. And F9 and everything works. All our effects are loaded straight back. It works with decals too. So I'm going to pick this decal. Maybe it's that. Start stamping some decals here. F7 to save. I can come back here. I'm going to press the F9 key and we have our decals back. So this was a request from a user in the community. Um, the question was whether we could save decals and now the answer is yes and it's supported out of the box. You don't need to worry about it. Um, there's just a single blueprint node which I'll get to later in this video and it does everything for you. It works with everything. It works with characters, with um, local space painting, with landscapes. Um, no matter what your use case is, you're covered. So again, F7 to save. And this works seamlessly too. So for instance, if I went really crazy out here and added lava everywhere and did all kinds of strange stuff. Now I can just press F9 and we are back where we started. So everything works as expected. This works with paint blob collisions too. So um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a little door for myself. Maybe something like that. And all the paint blob collisions work. Maybe a little window over here too, like that. Maybe another one. Now I'm going to save this F7. Now let's start over again by coming over here. Once again, F9 to load. And we have a little makeshift door and a little windows back. And paint blob collisions work. So it's not just the painted effects, even the paint blob collisions are now, you know, fully support saving and loading. So no matter what your use case is, you should be covered with this update. All right, now that we've taken a look at what saving and loading can do for you, let's take a look at the blueprint nodes um, or the C++ APIs that you need to make all of this happen. Let's open the level blueprint. Here we have the bindings for the F7 and the F9 key. For saving, all you need is one single node. It's called Save Mesh Paint as Bytes. This takes all of the mesh paint in your world and returns it to you in the form of an array of bytes, which you can easily save with any of your existing save systems. If you're a Blueprint user and you're using save game objects, you can just grab it, dump it into a variable and save it to a slot. If you're using any of the C++ save plugins on the marketplace, then you should be able to just take this and serialize it along with the rest of your data. Um, the exact code will vary from plugin to plugin, but it should be pretty straightforward. Now, that's it when it comes to saving. When it comes to loading your data back, all you need is one single node again. It's called load mesh paint from bytes. So you just need to pass in the same data back which um, this function gave to you. Um, you can get that back from whichever save system you're using. You pass it to this function and that's it, you're done. So all of the complexity um, which is happening behind the scenes is handled by the plugin for you. So you don't need to worry about any of that. You can just get the save paint as bytes and load them back. And um, you can use this in any number of ways. You can save it to a web server if you want to and maybe for people to share things around. Um, you can do anything you like uh, with the bytes. So mm, that's it really for saving and loading. But there's one thing I do want to talk about. It's this parameter out here called needs baked textures for skin meshes. And what it's really trying to say is that there are certain occasions when you will need to bake your textures out. Um, so let's take a step back. When I'm saving my effects out here, so I'm doing something like this. I'm pressing F7 to save it. And I'm coming back over here and loading it with F9. What you're saving is not a texture. I'm not saving the textures out here to your disk because that would be highly inefficient. What I am saving is logical bits of information which I call paint strokes, which I am then replaying in a non-destructive manner. 
because this is far more efficient than saving textures and will result in smaller save file sizes. However, that is not possible for skin meshes because for skin meshes, um, the animation pose at the time of painting will influence the reprojection logic. And that means if you can't guarantee that the same animation pose is used at the time of you know drawing and at the time of saving and loading, then um, it's just not going to work. And that is why you need to bake um, textures. And that brings me back to this parameter. So if you have a skin mesh onto which you're painting and if its animation pose varies uh, you know, quite uh, wildly, then you will need to bake textures and you need to use this with caution because it will, it will significantly increase the size of your save files but if you have an animated mesh you need to you know save then there's no way around it i tried quite a bit i tried many different techniques but eventually i came to the conclusion that there's no other way now the default value for this parameter is set to false so i'm trying to encourage people to stay away from this and not bake the textures unless they really need to so if you have the plugin and you're saving it and you're wondering um, why things aren't working then this is the reason so let me just show you a quick example of what happens if you don't bake the textures so for instance um i'm going to save somewhere around this point f7 now I'm going to load when the animation is playing and see that the reprojection logic has failed. Once again, it didn't work. So the animation state is now influencing the reprojection logic and that is what happens when you aren't baking your textures out. So if I come back out here and bake them, now regardless of the animation state, I'm able to save at any point and, and I'm able to load back no problems at all regardless of the animation state I get the same things back even if you are painting on skin meshes there are times when it makes sense to turn this off so let me talk about one of one such case let's say you have a character customization screen and you know that the pose of the character is going to be constant throughout the tenure of the painting process then in that case there's simply no reason for you to bake the textures. You can uh, leave this off to its default value and the plugin will process all the paint strokes and the reprojection logic will work as long as the animation pose of the character stayed constant that is the same animation pose that you used while painting was, is the same animation pose that was used while loading. So um, that's one thing worth knowing. Um, another use case, let's say you have a character customization screen which has only a finite set of poses. So you do have different poses that the players can choose from but it's only a small and finite list which you have full control over. Then in that case what I would do is I would associate each pose with a set of bytes and so let's say you have three poses, I would save the data for each pose out individually and that will allow you to load um, load the information back depending on which post is active so um, if you didn't get that don't worry about it you can just ask me about it later but I'm just trying to point out that there are many cases where you can just leave baked textures off even if you are painting on skin meshes another good example would be let's say you have a large crowd of characters maybe something like the ones over here and you're trying to splash lava all over them then the player is not going to notice if the, uh, if the lava which was splashed before they saved it is slightly off or in a different place compared to when they loaded it back. So that's another case where you have, if you have large group of characters and you're just adding damage effects or things that no one's really going to notice or care about. That's another case where you don't need to bake the textures out. Baking textures is for when you need full precision. Okay, this video has gone on for longer than I planned but I do want to show you some of the other features which have come in with this update. So one of them is the ability to export your paint masks to a um, chosen directory. So here to my F10 key I bound this new function called Dawn export paint masks and let's see what it does. So here I'm going to take this character, add some decals, maybe I'll use my butterfly brush and do some stuff over here maybe let's take that one step further now I'm going to press the F10 key 
and this is going to save all of the masks out inside my save directory this is the folder I've created baked textures and here I have the UV maps bring that back yeah the UV maps of the character with all of the paint projected onto it now uh, why would you want something like this I, I don't know it depends from person to person or use case to use case but if you need that information it's now available to you now oh yeah the last bit of information I want to share with you about this update is support for dedicated servers in the sample project so now I'm going to run a dedicated server so the active player in the viewport is actually now a client and we have a dedicated server that's running behind the scenes and that's going to act as the server obviously now um, as you can see everything still works we are actually playing as a client there's a dedicated server which is doing all of this now the reason this is significant is that um, in the previous version of the sample project this wasn't working so there were some issues with the how the sample project was set up and dedicated servers weren't working on account of that but now that's all taken care of so if you want to test dedicated servers out you can um, you know, check the flag on and everything still works so here my clients all my clients have the same view the dedicated server is the one who's processing the paint replicating it sending it out and both the clients have the same view of the world now this wasn't an issue with the plugin the plugin always had full support for dedicated servers it was just a sample project which wasn't configured in an ideal way for you know demonstrating these effects so now that's been taken care of too Alright, so that's it for this update. You can now save. Let me bring it back to one. Okay. And perhaps my favorite use case for saving and loading is this little door functionality that I like to show off here. I can do this. I can save it. I can load it back. And I can do more stuff. F9 and my door is back. So that's one of my favorite use cases for this. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.